Hello, this is Jamie, otherwise known as Just Jamie, and I'm going to show you how to use my new washi tape builder set. Um, I hope you can see everything okay here. I'm just going to give you a few tips um, when you're building your washi tape um, so you can make some really cool, unique um, pieces for your kits. Okay, so first you would go in and uh, grab a shape that you like. Let's just grab this one for now. I think that's a good size when I go out. Okay, I'm doing this um, tutorial at 100% so I can see the detail. Okay, so first what you could do is just simply apply a color that you like. Say let's go for a pink color. And then you would just basically add the texture. Okay, um, there's many different variations and there's um, some work better than others. This will be something you'll need to fiddle around with and see. And just to show you a little tip here, when you double click on the layer effects and go to the patterns, make sure your your um, the pattern overlay is highlighted. What you can do is actually click and drag the pattern to where you'd like it to be. And you can see that I have it here at 50%. The, the pattern is at 50%. And this is what it looks like at 100. So you could basically go through here and say, mm, I like that or I don't like that. Um, and go through like this. If you're going to be playing with the percentages of the pattern, go in increments of 20 per, 25%. Otherwise, you'll start to get blur. Um, you can't see it very much, but if you go, say, 79%, it is a little blurry. Um, I don't know. Photoshop just does this. So when you go 75%, it's still not my favorite, um, but 50% works well. It's nice and clear, and 25% is sometimes uh, okay, sometimes not, but obviously that doesn't work in this case. This looks silly, but you never want to go above 100 because then you're stretching the pattern. Whoops, that was a little too much. 150, 150%, that's over, that's just, you're stretching the pattern, so you don't want to do that. So I would recommend, personally, I work with 100% and 50%. Now you don't have to go in here and do this because I've made already a whole bunch of variations that toggle between 50% and 100%, but, uh, what I was saying is basically that if the pattern doesn't work out for you, you can go in and drag it around and put it to where you think it makes sense. Um, okay, so that's with a color, but you can also uh, add a paper, which is pretty cool. So let's just pull another shape here. Let's say this. And I'll take one of my own papers from my kits and first of all it's too big for me I'm gonna resize it and put it to where I think it would look nice I think that's okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click I'm gonna hold shift click both layers and merge them just because that's what I like to do work with one layer to uh, to apply the style. So here we go. I've applied a style and I, actually I like the way it looks automatically. But you can see I have a fill here of 80%. That might be too much for you, which is okay. Um, you can, I like, I like 90% or 80% to work with opacity. Um, it just depends all what you like. And it's a good idea to have a dark background to do like a craft background or something to do this on. So you get a good idea what your tape looks like on a paper. Um, see, let's see, this is 80, we'll put this at 80%, whoops, 80% and this at 90, just to show you the difference. See, one's a little more, let's put this on top. So you can see the 80%, there's quite a bit of opacity that you can see behind there, but if you like yours not to be so, um, see through then you could just drag your easily drag your um, opacity up it's really just a, a preference 
Um, I always like to use styles as a starting point. I sometimes come in and, and alter them. Like for example, I wanted more of an edge here, so I might bring up the opacity of the color burn if I wanted to, or even spread it out more to make it more grungy looking, you know. These are kind of, kind of things you might want to tweak as you're making your washi tapes. Um, and of course, let's let's just move around the, the textures here to see what happens. See, there's all sorts of possibilities. This is my new favorite style set because I'm a huge washi tape lover. So I hope that I'm able to give you some good resources to make lots and lots of tapes for your future kits. Okay, thanks for watching.